Even though How I Met Your Mother ended long ago, we're still obsessed. See how Neil Patrick Harris and Colby Smulders reunited since the show ended. Find out which actor became a New York Times best-selling author. Also, hear why Josh Radner hasn't landed many screen acting roles as of late. And also learn who Allison Hannigan now consults before she considers any new role. Neil Patrick Harris as Barney Stinson It'll probably come as no surprise, but Harris did not lose any momentum since the sitcom ended. In the year that our favorite show ended, the actor appeared in two major movies, A Million Ways to Die in the West and Gone Girl. He was also the human lead in the Smurfs movie and authored a memoir, as well as a children's book. Most notably, he starred as the menacing Count Olaf on a series of unfortunate events. Not only did this role let him exercise his comedic chops, it also saw him join fellow How I Met Your Mother alum, Kobe Smulders. Most recently, Neil Patrick joined the fourth installment of the Matrix franchise and starred in the miniseries It's a Sin. As for his personal life, Harris proved that he's not into one-night stands like our man Barney. After dating for 10 years, he married his partner, actor and chef David Bertka, who you might recognize as Lily's clingy ex-boyfriend Scooter. The two lived together with their twins, conceived through surrogacy. Before Neil Patrick met David, though, he thought he would be single for the rest of his life. Thank goodness, then, for a mutual friend's well-timed introductions. Harris mostly keeps his family life private, but makes no secret of the fact that he's a doting dog dad. The next actress's career took an interesting turn after the sitcom ended. Also, you gotta hear where she lives. It's gonna be legend. Wait for it. And I hope you're not lactose intolerant, because the second half of that word is dairy. <laughs> Allison Hannigan as Lily Aldrin. Allison still has a soft spot for her on-screen gang. You can't scroll through her Instagram without noticing all her nostalgic throwback posts. It's no secret that the five main cast members are still incredibly close in real life. Like when Allison had to hold the tears back once, because she wouldn't be working with Jason Segel anymore. He's just, <laughs> he's such a wonderful guy, and oh, I'm getting a little... I'm not gonna miss him. In terms of Hannigan's career, it's been a fun ride. The actress stayed primarily in TV, starring in You Might Be the Killer and Kim Possible and Abducted, The Mary Stauffer Story. In addition, Allison branched into hosting. Yeah, she hosted the Food Network's Girl Scout Cookie Championship and later even extended her duties to Penn & Teller's Fool Us, about the former. I was so excited to be a part of this because I've eaten my way through a large amount of Girl Scout cookies. Since How I Met Your Mother ended, Hannigan's priorities have changed. She now lives for her amazing family. She's been married to Alexis Denisoff for nearly 20 years. You might remember him as Sandy Rivers. Happy 18th wedding anniversary, my love. You are the most incredible partner, father, human I know. Together, Allison and Alexis adore parenthood and are always game for some family fun. Kiva. Oh. <laughs> Hannigan revealed that lately she has her kids in mind whenever she considers a role. I feel like, definitely, everything changed when I became a mother. I absolutely think of my kids when I read something. But have you heard where the family lives? In California, in the house used for the set of This Is Us. True story, seriously. Hannigan wasn't aware that it was a popular filming location until after she moved in, but she decided to embrace it for a special occasion. She let the This Is Us cast film their final season at her home after rejecting countless other inquiries. Her decision paid off. Not only did they give us our house back in wonderful shape, they fixed things that I had damaged. On another note, want to hear if the actor who played Marshall had the same great luck in the romance department? That's actually not bad. I'll allow it. Jason Siegel as Marshall Erickson. Siegel continued to work on diverse film projects since the show ended. He also explored working behind the camera, like in Sex Tape, which he wrote and directed. Jason appeared in films like Our Friend and The End of the Tour the latter garnering Siegel a number of award nominations. Most recently, Jason created and starred on an AMC anthology series called Dispatches from Elsewhere. That's not all. Siegel is also a New York Times best-selling author. His Nightmares series consists of three books. Even though Jason's been busy, he still makes time to stay in touch with his former castmates. We watched each other get married and have kids and go through health scares. This is the longest I've known any group of people besides my family. There's something that lasts forever about that. Many fans are curious to know if Jason got his Lily in real life. Sadly, not yet. He had two long-term relationships in the past. The first, with actress Linda Cardellini, lasted for six years. After their paths separated, Siegel was linked to a few famous actresses, such as Chloe Sabendi, Michelle Trechtenberg, and Lindsay Lohan. 
Then, he nearly settled down with photographer Alexis Mixter. Sadly, the couple split up last year, after eight years together. Mixter announced their breakup in a heartfelt Instagram post. This guy and I have shared so much life together, changed each other at a soul-deep level. All for the better. We couldn't find the reason for the breakup, but at least it's amicable. The following actress went on to voice Wonder Woman, and somehow it seems fitting, considering she's a force to reckon with in real life, too. Kobe Smulders as Robin Shabatsky This actress certainly branched out into a whole different world. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, to be precise. She is best known as Maria Hill, appearing in three of the Avengers movies as well as Spider-Man Far From Home. Kobe also starred on Netflix's Friends From College, which lasted for two seasons. Her most recent project was ABC's Stumptown, which she produced. Sadly, it got cancelled after one season. Her busy career is so much more impressive when you hear about her health struggles. The actress has spoken openly about her battle with ovarian cancer, which she was diagnosed with at age 25 in 2008. After many surgeries, Smulders managed to beat the disease and even went on to have two daughters. Her husband of 10 years is Saturday Night Live alum, Taran Killam. It gives us major pleasure hearing that the couple is going strong. So next, let's check out the one and only Josh Radner as Ted Mosby. Like his co-stars, Josh went on to have a successful career, although he shifted his focus a little bit. After saying goodbye to Ted, the actor bagged leading roles on Mercy Street, Rise, and Hunters. He also guest starred on Grey's Anatomy and appeared in The Seeker. But what's the main reason why Radner doesn't land all that many screen acting roles as of late? Well, he's far too busy taking on roles in plays and musicals at the highest level of American theater. For example, he starred in a Broadway production of the Tony Award-nominated play Disgraced. Josh is also part of a musical duo called Radner and Lee with his longtime friend. One of their albums was released two years ago. That's not all. Josh is currently writing his second book, which is slated to be released this year. As for his love life, he's tried very hard to keep it under wraps. A recent Instagram post made reference to his girlfriend, though, my girlfriend got me this coat for my birthday. I love her and it. We're not exactly sure who the lady is, but he is currently rumored to be dating Abigail Spencer. If the name sounds familiar, she played Carol, aka Blah Blah. The pair could be seen taking Josh's dog Nelson for a walk in the park. Still, we can't say for sure. Maybe they're just close friends. As for the past, one source suggests that his serial dating history is likely due to his preference for female energy. Radner once told Collider, I have two sisters, so I grew up in a female-dominated environment. I was never in a fraternity or anything. I always got uncomfortable when there were no women around. Whatever the case may be, he's been linked to Lindsay Price, Madeline Zima, Julia Jones, and Minka Kelly. Of course, some of these relationships weren't confirmed, so we'll take it with a pinch of salt. Eight years ago, the actor dated Marissa Tomei, but it didn't last for long. In fact, none of his flings survived more than a year. Here's hoping he'll find someone to settle down with when the time's right. We'd be remiss if we didn't talk about the woman who inspired the whole show. Kristen Milioti as The Mother The actress took on even more prominent parts after appearing in the titular role. Milioti appeared on shows like Modern Love, Fargo, Black Mirror, and The Mindy Project. Her most notable film gig was Palm Springs, though. Hulu purchased the rom-com at 2020's Sundance Film Festival for a record-breaking $17.5 million. It received rave reviews. Currently, you can catch her on HBO Max's Made for Love. In terms of her love life, Kristen met her partner, furniture designer Jesse Hooker, 10 years ago. Some fans think the couple are engaged, but as far as we can tell, they're just happily dating. It's hard to approach the topic, but the close-knit cast's happiness was shattered earlier this year. In memory of Bob Saget as future Ted The late comedian provided the narration to all nine seasons of How I Met Your Mother. Following Saget's sudden death last month, Radner mourned his friend with an emotional tribute on Twitter. I'll hear his voice in my head for the rest of my days, Josh wrote. In a separate tweet, Radner also revealed how Bob was the one who helped him overcome his imposter syndrome. When I'd run into Bob on the Fox lot in those early days, he'd gush over my performance and tell me how he was studying me to make sure his vocal performance felt right. The whole cast mourns the passing of this legend. Saget was widely known for his role as Danny Tanner on Netflix's Full House and Fuller House. In his last years, he continued to work as a stand-up comedian. Saget leaves behind his wife, Kelly Rizzo, and his three daughters from a previous marriage. Rest in peace, Bob. Thanks for watching.
and remember to stay awesome.